I'd say be courageous and also have tact. I think tact is an underrated Ooh. skill yes. and trait in our society, right? When I say be courageous, it doesn't mean you need to go out tomorrow and start like beating people over the head with uh, all your beliefs and ideas and everything. But, you know, have those. Don't be afraid to voice your concerns, voice your beliefs, have conversations with people. Yeah. Don't be afraid for people to disagree with you. Don't be afraid to disagree with other people. And then on top of it all, you know, I think oftentimes as Christians, we can, we can lose sight. We can, we can get wrapped up in a lot of the, I don't know, the, the, the legalism or some of the, mm. some of the nitty gritty and nuances and stuff. Yes. And I often come back to, you know, I know a lot of Americans have those little, you know, what would Jesus do bracelets, but I think that's uh, as, as sort of trite and cliche as that may seem, it is a, it's a good way to think. Yeah. Right. If you are a Christian, you should do your best to be Christ-like. Mm. Right. So yes. the way that you do treat other people, yeah. I will say this, especially people who disagree with you. Oh my God. Everyone treats the people who, even dictators, even murderous dictators treat people who agree with them pretty well. Yep. It takes something special to treat people who disagree with you, who you might consider your opposition, who you might annoy you or whatever, to treat those people well and with dignity and with humanity and with kindness. Trust me, I know it can be rough. Like, yeah, yeah. I got a big Twitter following. I deal with <laughs> flack all day long. I understand it can be difficult, right? Um, and I believe the most radical thing that's in the Bible, the most radical Christian belief is the idea that you should love your enemies because that is completely against nature. That is the opposite of what is natural to do. It's a lot easier to hate your enemies and to behave in that manner. So yep. I think if people come back to Jesus as a model and think, okay, how would, you know, if Jesus Christ existed in uh, here in 2023, <laughs> how, how would he respond to this? How would he be treating people? Correct. How would he be talking to people? And I think that he would be firm and uncompromising in his beliefs and in his teachings. Yep but it would be tempered with kindness and with tact and with understanding and with compassion. 